One of our greatest follies was surely the highly experimental New Zealand space program. And it too involved animals. Most people have never heard of the New Zealand space program. It was not something that the government wanted to crow about. I mean, it was very expensive. In the 1970s, New Zealand made an unlikely entry into the space race when it sent a four-year-old Pirandale cross named Daisy into outer space. DSIR scientists hope to learn about the effects of zero gravity on pregnant ewes. The machine is designed to simulate the effects of space travel on the animal, and DSIR scientists say that Daisy is shaping up well. Yesterday, the minister told a packed news conference... The launch of the module Weka 9 on June 17, 1971, stopped the nation. Crossed our live to Lindsay Owen Wellington for the liftoff. Two, one, ignition. We have liftoff. Wicker 9 is clear. Tower, Wicker 9 is clear. Right on. Despite a wonky takeoff, the module eventually made it to space. However, disorientated by the launch, the distressed U had soon taken Wicker 9 dangerously off course. In breaking news, concern tonight for Weka 9. It's been confirmed the module is now off course. We'll bring you further updates as they come to hand. In a desperate attempt to salvage the mission, scientists hurriedly deployed a second module. Weka 10 contained a sheepdog called Bluey. It was hoped the highly trained fox terrier might be able to herd Daisy back onto course in a kind of cosmic dog show. Stay blue. Stay blue. Wait there, blue. Wait there, blue. Come around, blue. Sadly, both Wecker 9 and Wecker 10, the module containing Bluey the sheepdog, were lost forever. The only reminder of those ill-fated missions is this. It's the booster rocket that sent poor old Daisy into space. And it now rests here at Auckland's Museum of Transport and Technology. A forgotten and melancholy testament to man's hubris.